Is there really a God? The Christ Letters, Article 3 I have returned to speak to you in colloquial language to address various problems which people have to deal with when on earth. I am doing this through the mind of my recorder because those who have truly embraced the truth contained in my letters and who try to govern their daily lives by this deep understanding of the secrets of creation have eventually found great relief from former burdens. They have discovered with joy that mankind is not born to be a victim of circumstances. They have found that they have a real, reliable means of overcoming difficulties or bearing setbacks with inner strength and even happiness. What is this means? It is the source of all being, not the Jehovah type God described in the Bible, but the universal light of being which is experienced by true mystics. As time goes by, people with a longing to delve more deeply into spiritual truth, not religion, will discover they have a natural capacity for mysticism. When this happens, such people will no longer ask, is there really a God? but will know beyond all doubt that there is a magnificently powerful universal first cause or universal source of being out of which all things have taken individualized form, in which magnificent consciousness energy, all living and inanimate things are sustained and maintained throughout their worldly lives and ever after. Can you grasp how wonderfully uplifting and gloriously exciting it is to discover that you are not really a burdened soul, a victim of circumstances, born to be stuck in the rut into which you were born, or the ravine into which you have fallen in later years? Can you understand how exhilarating it is to come to the full and clear realization that this universal consciousness energy has been within you all these years, secretly and quietly maintaining the growth, nutrition, healing, protection from germs, ensuring replacement of dying cells, giving added strength to muscles and tendons when called to do so by extra exercise, all these wonderful activities within your bodies have taken place without any help from you. Can you see that you are daily, nightly supported by what you do not know? Scientists can explain all these activities but they cannot start to explain what great impulse of being impels them into action. I can tell you because I was given full enlightenment on earth and because I have ascended through the various levels of light until I am on the very edge of the eternal equilibrium in which our mutual first cause, source of all being, resides in a void of stillness and silence. I know the true nature of our first cause because I am an almost perfect individualization of it myself. You and I, who am the Ascended Christ, formerly known as Jesus when on earth, have both come from the same source, which I called the Father, because, after enlightenment, I realized that it 
is the true Father Mother of all creation. Human parents are only the vehicles of creation through which the source of being works. Trust me, for I know beyond all doubt and tell you truly. Whilst your human parents may let you down, when you walk my way, the Christ way, you will eventually find that the Father is an unfailing source of supply, healing, guidance, presenting of unexpected opportunities, inspiration and joy. No matter where you may be on earth, what trouble you may be in, what disgrace you are facing, what lack of money may be dogging you, right within you, around and above you, you have the spiritual means on which to call with all your heart and mind and the answer will surely come if you do not doubt. Many people will disagree with this statement and scoff, but it is also true that they have lived in a state of disbelief. Those who have chosen to walk minute by minute, my way, Christ's way, will agree with my words, for they will have learned how to meditate properly, quietening the mind, experiencing a little of the stillness and silence of the void and the universal equilibrium, the very source of creation, and thereby drawing on the source of all creativity and perfection. Let no one dare to condemn or criticise these words until they too have managed to quieten their chattering minds and entered the silence. After such an experience, no human mind can resist the call of the divine to seek that which has given them life and raised them up to adulthood. Go to letter 1 to discover what I learnt through total enlightenment in the desert in Palestine. When you have fully absorbed the full truth concerning existence and begin to try to put the knowledge into daily action as I did, you too will find miracles happening ever more swiftly the more deeply and fully you absorb and practice the eternal verities. To fully understand your source and your true relationship to it, read letter 5 and letter 6. Read them again and again, so that you will never again think of your world as being solid matter, but will immediately recognise that it is only composed of eternal consciousness and the magnificent impulses which comprise the nature of all being. You can freely download the Christ Letters, Articles and Messages as a PDF. You are also welcome to join the Facebook group and the MeWe group and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All the links will be given in the description section below. Thank you for watching.